Hey everyone and welcome to my very first very exciting video tutorial. Today we're going to go over a darker gritty type of edit in Lightroom Photoshop. So let's hop to it. So the other day I was lucky enough to pull aside this young lady to take a photograph. She had just been attacked by a pack of wild dingoes. Luckily she had a gun on her and was able to kill them all. That's old dingo and blood you can see on her face. Hashtag in Australia where everything can kill you, right? Of course I'm kidding. She's cosplaying as Zoe from Left 4 Dead. And this was all for Supernova, a pop culture expo we have here in Australia. I wonder if you have that in overseas. Hmm. I'll look into that. Anyways, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to knock up that contrast just to make the image go pow. I don't like how overblown the highlights are in the background in this image, so I'm going to turn them down. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the shadows just to get some more even lighting on the face. And after that, I'm going to play around with the blacks just to bring out some fine details in the shots. Now I'm gonna play around with the clarity. I like to leave it under 10 just to not overdo the image. I mean, it's gonna look super stylized later and well, we'll just leave it at under 10 for now. Now we're gonna to scroll to the very bottom and enable lens profile and remove chromatic aberration. So now we're gonna select the adjustment layer brush and we're gonna hit that drop down menu and select the iris enhance tool. So we're going to go to the irises and paint around the irises just to bring out the colors in her eyes. As you can see, she's wearing blue contacts and the, as I'm going over the iris, you can see her natural eye color popping out. This would normally annoy me and I'd fix it up in Photoshop. However, for this style of edit, I don't mind the multiple eye colors in this shot. I'm going to select a new pin for the second eye just because the lighting levels are different in both the eyes and I'm going to have separate values to adjust on both the eyes. So we're going to go to the left eye and adjust that one just to make it match the other one. So now we're going to select the burn tool just to bring out some details in the eyes. I really like how irritated her eyes are and we're just going to burn over the blood vessels sticking out. We're really going to accentuate these blood vessels. So you're probably wondering why her eyes are so irritated. It's because she's wearing some really uncomfortable cheap contacts. A lot of cosplayers like to buy the more affordable contacts. It's not really a luxury that some people can afford. Especially not someone who's under the legal working age in Australia. So we're going to do it to the other eye as well. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to burn around the irises just to bring out some more clarity around the eyes. And we're going to do that for both eyes again. And now we're going to bring out the details around the eyelids and the eyelashes and the eyebrows and the nose and the blood splatters on her face and the blood wound on her head. And even around, we're even going to burn the edges of her face just to add some more dimension to the picture. And we're even going to do her lips as well. Anyways, now that that's looking good, we're going to right click on the icon and just go up to edit in Photoshop. And over here, we're going to select edit as smart object. And that'll open it up in Photoshop. So now that we're in Photoshop, we're going to right click on that first layer and we're going to select new smart object via copy. So now we're going to double click on that first layer and it's going to open the camera raw plugin. So we're going to go down to clarity and pump that all the way up and you'll see what I mean what, what I said before about how it's overdoing things, but we're just going to leave it like that because it's what we're going for. Click OK. And now that we're back in Photoshop, we're going to go to the blend modes with the top layer selected and we're going to select soft light. As you can see, it's added some more dimension to the picture, but I'm not too crazy about the colors. So I'm going to click on the bottom layer and go to our adjustment layers panel. And we're going to select the black and white adjustment layer. And now we can play with the little sliders just to get the type of effect we want. I can lighten, I can darken, but I'm going to go for more of a darker type of theme. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed that video tutorial. Let me know in the comments how I can improve as a teacher, if you liked this video, if you think there's something I can improve in my workflow. Do, by all means, tell me. 
I like feedback, but only if it's kind. Don't be mean. Anyways, Marcelo Silva here, signing out. See ya.